So this is a 43-year-old uh, lady who uh, had a complicated cholecystectomy many years ago, which required emergency surgery. She was actually well following this, but then represented, what, 17 years uh, or so later with right upper quadrant pain and abnormal liver function tests to one of our referring hospitals with imaging showing that she, has, she had had, uh, clearly had a hepaticojejunostomy uh, following a biliary injury and she had stones, a large volume of stones, particularly in the left lobe. Um, she had a left-sided percutaneous drain put in. She went through our multidisciplinary meeting and then was um, uh, admitted um, for a percutaneous cholangioscopy. So let's just look at the equipment we're going to be using. Um, and we'll be showing this in a minute. The new SPY Discover cholangioscope. Um, uh, the 12 French peel away sheath from Cook, uh, a stiff Amplex wire um, and uh, a biliary drain and otherwise stone uh, extraction um, equipment. So let's go to the, uh, the case. Thank you. So you've heard the story where um, just starting the procedure, we've got uh, sterile drapes on. I'm just going to do an initial cholangiogram. We can see that uh, significant filling defects in the left side of the biliary tree. Okay, that's fine, thank you. Going, keep going, keep going, stop there. Okay, good, and I'll have that. Okay, so here we go. So we're, we're, we're using here the, um, the SPY Discover Scope, which is a new 65 centimeter uh, cholangioscope specifically designed for these sort of pretty unusual, but uh, um, percutaneous, intraoperative, transistic um, uh, approaches. Um, it's so much more manoeuvrable than the traditional spy scope, which of course has to go down the whole length of a duodenoscope. Okay, so... Um. Screen, please. All right, probably pretty much across the... Uh, pretty much down the small bowel now. There we go. Okay, so we can see if the patient's got celiac disease. Here we are. So uh, we're down... Uh, in the small bowel, but the crucial question is, or one of the crucial questions, have they got a stricture at the anastomosis? Is there much of a stricture? Not really, is there? Uh, well, here we are. Screen. Yeah, this is this is where the anastomosis is. One of the other advantages of the the spy discover scope, because you can do all of this with the with the you know the spyglass DS2, for example, um, but it's a much it's much it's obviously a much longer scope, and this shorter scope allows greater angulation. And as we'll come to find out, if you're trying to go down the left duct as we are in here, and then seeing if you can get up into the right, that that increased angulation is a real help. What I hope here is that as we do this, some of these stones are going to just flush themselves down and out. Um, it is an interesting observation that it's much easier to pull stones out of the bile duct than push stones out of the bile duct. Um, uh, we don't quite have the tools as yet for uh, moving stones sort of anti-grade out of the bile duct. Screen, please. So I'm slowly uh, coming back. I'm almost in the sheath now. A little bit of an inflammatory reaction there. That's okay. Yeah, right. I'm actually right on the sheath. I think so. Clearly, this this lady needed. Uh, you know, she had a complication from a cholecystectomy, and once you get, you know, once you get a, a bile duct injury, especially if it's an ischemic bile duct injury, you know, you you then get inflammatory strictures, and then those are uh, act as a real nidus for for stone formation. All right, uh, let's inflate. So this is the Hurricane uh, short wire dilating balloon. Uh, 
four centimeters long, four millimeters, uh, sorry, eight millimeters wide. That's good. It's fine. We'll keep it on that for 30 seconds or so. Yep. Lovely. So let's have the, let's have the balloon back now. Going again with the, that's good, screen. And let's have the EHL Pro, please. And let's have the spy view. So this is interesting, isn't it? I can uh, screen, please. So this is pretty amazing. I can uh, hook right back on myself. It's a bit like doing a colonoscopy here, um, which uh, is very useful for. So if we go here, screen. So that's really fascinating, isn't it? So let's have some contrast there. So I think that's very useful, actually, because no, I'm, I'm good there. Because what I can show is that these ducts up on the, uh, on the left lateral are look pristine, don't they? Screen, please. I'm pretty happy with that up there as well. So we can sort of see the maneuverability here of being able to go. A lot of air bubbles, but... Uh, you know, we can see that those upper left lo d lobe ducts are they look pretty good, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah Taz is saying we worried initially that there was lo might be lots of stone up there, but it doesn't seem to be. So I, I think we've done a pretty good job here. Let's come out with this, and let's have the balloon, and then we'll put the uh, we'll be ready to put a drain in. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Down with the but d just drop down to eight point five. Okay, just have to change the balloons then, yeah. Okay, yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Stop screening of injecting. Keep injecting. So take that for me, please. I think that's a great result, actually.